Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna go over how I pass step one in just a short amount of time. I know a lot of people out there are struggling with step one right now. I actually have met many people who have failed step one as well. And I'm making this video as a short and sweet way, just what you need to know to pass step one and move on. Now this is a pass fail test, no need to spend excess amount of resources, excess amount of time on this. And I just want you to get the basics and move on so you can have a good foundation for step two. And if you guys want more help, you can go visit thedoctorjourney.com. We have a website where we offer a bunch of tutoring and we have our new unlimited plan where we will help you with unlimited tutoring until you pass step one, otherwise your money back. Um, anyways, let's get on with the video. Step one, there are five main things I used for step one to excel. One of them being UWorld. This is the basic one everyone knows. UWorld is essential in terms of its question banks. Go through all the UWorld questions. There's around 3,500, I believe, give or take. And do all of those, make sure you go through it once. And if you have time, please go through it again. Do your incorrects. Now, I didn't do all my incorrects, but I did a decent amount of incorrects. And I thought that was really, really key because those incorrects are things that you're really weak on, things you don't understand. And when you redo them again, you either know them or you don't. And by know them, I mean, you've either understood them during your first pass and you really understand the concepts and if you haven't this is where it gets amazing you get to relearn it and re-understand and make sure that if you were to see that concept again you would not get it wrong so again you world's essential they cover every topic out there and that's key to knowing a lot of stuff for step one number two thing that i did the thoma Everyone does like boards and beyonds, boot camp, and all these other videos, which are great. If anything, they're better than Pathoma. But here's the reason why I said Pathoma. Pathoma covers pathology, and pathology is 60% of step one. If you cover all of Pathoma, especially emphasis on chapters one through three, go through those multiple times, and you take notes on all these, it's gonna be great. In addition to this, get Duke deck. It correlates exactly with the chapters of Pathoma, so you can use it, study, and remember. Duke deck is for Anki. We'll talk about Anki later. But anyways, Pathoma is great. The doctor teaching it is amazing. One of the best and simplest teachers out there for medical education. And you guys should must, must watch Pathoma. Number three thing that I used, I used Sketchy. Sketchy Farm and Sketchy Micro. Those things are so key that boosted my score from the 40% to the 60%. My weakness was pharmacology and microbiology at both Sketchy's with this. Now I watched all of them and finished all of them I think uh, the day before my actual test. So I kept learning and learning all of them throughout this whole study period and it's okay if you don't finish well before your test. Just try to finish before you take your actual test. Both, both videos. They both have around 110 videos. So it's like 220 videos and if you're looking for a schedule on how to incorporate this in your daily schedule go to the doctorjourney.com go to our free resources. We have a free step one schedule out there and you can use that to tailor your study schedule anyways so sketchy is very key but micro farm and make sure you unlock the Anki of that. It's called LOL Nukopanik deck. It's amazing and really, really helps. Now we move on to actually Anki. So you kind of heard me talk about the Duke deck and the LOL Nukopanik deck. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that one. That one's weird, but it covers all the sketchy micro and sketchy farm stuff that you need. Um, doing those two decks combined will literally give you like 75% of the content of the test. But Doma is going to cover all the pathology, 6% of the test, and then micro and farm covering like another 15 to 20% of your test. That's stuff alone is going to be amazing. It's nowhere near what Onking is and nowhere near as big as Onking. Onking is like 30,000 plus cards. Duke deck is like around a few thousand. Um, I want to say 7,000 plus the Elo and the Kopinik. You're probably think, talking around like 15,000 max cards. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's less than half of what the Onking deck is. And this covers very, very just focused material. And I think having those less cards, more focused material really helped me improve my scores. And so make sure you're doing those two decks. Those are key to saving time and knowing enough for step 
one. And then the last thing I did, I took NBME tests. I paid for the website, paid the $60 per test. And I really recommend people do this. I know there are ways out there that are, you know, the other ways, but paying for the test really gives you an accurate description of where your score lies, how much, how far you are. Um, of course, if you can afford it, if you cannot, I believe there are special circumstances they allow. But anyways, email me if you have questions on that, we can talk about that. Um, but anyways, those official tests are really key in determining where you stand. And to give you guys a frame of reference, I started at 35% on my first practice test. And I didn't start passing step one until about, I'd say a month out from my test. Yeah, so I basically had like three months of just pure pain of learning everything and figuring out what's the best ways to pass. And these five resources I just mentioned, UWorld, Pathoma, Sketchy Micro and Farm, Onking, and NBME tests are the five key resources you need to use to pass step one. People are failing more than ever before. Um, the pass fail format has caused a lot more people to fail and I wanna make a change to that. We wanna make a change to that. Um, so I made this video, hopefully it helps. I have a more detailed video on step one you guys can go watch i have a video on step two and a lot of different key tips you guys need to know again go visit the doctorjourney.com there's free resources on there and if you want personalized help or group tutoring we do that as well i'm telling you the ultimate plan is a game changer we do unlimited tutoring sessions with you until you pass and it's a guaranteed pass or your money back anyways thank you guys for watching the video stay healthy and stay happy one